Hello everyone and happy dump day. Welcome back to another episode of Dump Days with Dee Dee this week. I hope that everyone is doing well and staying safe and healthy and hopefully enjoying that the weather is getting warmer now. And so, you know, listen, we talked about hot girl summer, but I don't know. I don't know everybody. Anywho, this week we are talking about something that I feel honestly that a lot of people are going through. Um, and last time that we talked, I mentioned that I was really happy, but I didn't mention the reason why. And the reason why is that I, I can now share that I have left my job. Um, the job that I worked so very hard to get <laughs> eight months ago, um, I don't work there anymore. Um, basically, I'm just kind of going to tell you why for our little story time this week. Then we'll get into Humper Dump and on the DL. So, yeah. <laughs> um, if anyone is kind of going through problems with kind of feeling like they're a little unsure in their life and where they're supposed to be right now, then like I'm right there with you and I 100% know how you feel. So we're just going to talk about that this week. But yeah. So as you all know, I moved to Boston um, in late August, early September um, to start grad school and to, um, actually that's not true. I had already started grad school, (laughs) um, before I went to Boston. Um, but basically to continue grad school, I guess, and to start my job, um, in Boston. And basically, you know, everything was going great in the beginning. Um, obviously the sun was still shining, (laughs) Um, in Boston, you know, it was warm and it was nice and I really liked my job at first because I really liked that I felt in a way that I was kind of making somewhat of an impact in people's lives just in like a really not like corporate way. So like definitely not, not a nonprofit at all, but like I still felt like I was still helping people. And I think at the end of the day, like that's just what I want to do. That's what I want to accomplish in my life. Um, so anyways, um, I felt good about myself because, you know, I was doing well and I was helping people in ways that are just, it it was just different. It was just different anyways. So, um, also I'm not going to mention where I worked. Um, I mean, you can go on LinkedIn and look, (laughs) look it up, but anywho, so, but for my job, I was a community manager. Um, basically, the way that my job worked um, was that we, everyone that was a community manager at my job, everyone that had that role, basically, we each had a different location that we managed. And so, basically, we would run marketing, sales, like community management and engagement, outreach, um, uh, operations, all of these different things, like all of that would run through us. So like basically we were in charge of managing however, like all of that stuff, like for our locations. Um, And basically every day, you know, we had clients and we had members that came in um, to our specific locations. We would see them however often. Um, And then we would also, you know, like do tours and we would, um, also do sales and we would do I mean basically everything that I just said (laughs) advertising all that stuff so like it's a it was a mm, mm, I would say it was probably supposed to be a harder job than it was for me because I just really liked I liked that it was like a fast pace at first like I really enjoyed that um and I was doing really well like I was doing really, really well. Um, And so I was like, oh my gosh, like I actually really like this job, whatever, whatever. Um, But kind of as the months went on, like obviously September was like my first full month. Um, 
and September, I was still feeling pretty good. I was still feeling good. October, I was like, I th- I was still feeling good, but I was definitely like, oh, like, I am um, kind of starting to miss my family a little bit. Well, I miss my family regardless, but you you know what I mean. I was kind of getting like a little homesick. Um, and also like, I, like my family was just going through a lot at the time. I mean, when are we not, but you know, um, and then November, that was when I really started to be like, oh my God, I need to go home. Um, but also I kind of just thought that it was cause I just hadn't seen my family in a long time. And I was like, you know what, after Thanksgiving, everything will be fine. So I ended up going home for Thanksgiving was very, very safe. Like took all the, that's a lie. I did not go home for Thanksgiving. I'm totally lying. I went home for Christmas. <laughs> See, I can't even get the timeline right, but okay, so just kidding. November, this is what happened in November. By November, I actually had a meltdown. <laughs> this was like through from November to January, I think I had like an entire meltdown. Um, and I can't remember exactly when I told my job that I like that some things were going to need to change around here. But like, I legitimately was like, I am not okay. Um, and at first I just kind of thought that it was like, oh, like I need to see my family and, you know, I'll be fine once I see my family because I didn't go home for Thanksgiving. Um, but then in, I think December was the month that I legitimately like broke down fully and was not okay. Like just absolutely in a full on deep depression. Like I deal with depression daily but in December I completely like shut down like my roommate did not see me I, like our schedules are very different so like we usually don't see too too much of each other during the week anyway but like December I was just like simply not okay and I don't really know if she <laughs> if she noticed but I was just like unwell um Anyways, uh, so I think December was a month where I literally told my job, I was like, listen, um, some things are going to need to change. Otherwise, I'm going to quit. <laughs> like, I straight up was like, I'm going to quit if you guys don't start like valuing me the way that I should be valued. And like, because my location, my location was like the oldest location. It was this it was one of the smallest locations too. So like, I didn't really have too much to do during the day. Like I was just kind of chilling and like, I would do all my work for the day and I literally would be done by like 1130 noon. I would be done with my work day. And so I would just get so bored. I would like play solitaire. Like I literally played so much solitaire on the job. It, it, <laughs> it was, and I would do word searches and crossword puzzles like it was bad like I was very much not in tune with my job because I simply did not care at that point um because I was just so like basically I talked to my supervisor and she was like you know what you're totally right I can tell that you're bored like I like you should ask for more to do and I was like okay yeah sure and what I really wanted to be doing was like solely working on the marketing team like because my position was like in between the marketing and operations team and I was like I don't want to do any more operations I I was like I don't want to do any more operations at all I just want to do marketing like it's what I went to school for it's what I'm getting my master's degree in like I only want to do marketing and communications work and they were like yeah totally hear you so then I talked to um the general manager and he was like um when I talked to the general manager he was like absolutely like you deserve I I mean honestly everyone in the company loved me he was like you deserve everything and we're gonna give it to you blah blah whatever so then I was able to kind of do more work um I worked with our director of marketing who I love she was like my favorite person in the company and you know I was like we talked about some ideas and stuff and she was like you are like just so great at this and like 
you know, and she was like, I don't, whenever people come to me with ideas, I usually don't like them, but I liked all of yours. And I brought her like five ideas. (laughs) So that like really meant a lot to me and whatever. So at that point in time, I was like, okay, cool. Like I've done what I needed to do and I'm going to get more work to do and I'm not going to be bored out of my freaking mind every single day. Yeah. So unfortunately, things did not exactly turn out <laughs> the way that I thought they would. Um I love like I loved the director of marketing, um but she was going on maternity leave, so she was about to have a baby. And I was like, and we talked about it too. She was like, I'm just, I just want to let you know, like things are probably going to be a little bit slower around here until I come back. And I was like, okay, like obviously I totally understand. And also like the marketing team was like just her and she had been trying to find other people for the marketing team and she was like really striking out in like interviewing people. And I was like, you know what? I will literally help you with anything that you need. Like I'm so bored over here. (laughs) so anyways then um basically I was just like doing this work and all of these other things in the company were happening like a lot of like promotional things were happening and blah 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 yada 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 and so I was kind of just like waiting um for her to get back to me because like she was so so busy because like every single marketing thing ran through her and she outsourced a lot of people but she was also about to have a baby so I was like you know what don't worry about it like I just sent you this proposal get back to me when you can and like she was like I will literally get back to you in a week um okay cool this was in like time had passed obviously um so this was in um what month is this April this was in March so (laughs) March you know comes (laughs) I'm gonna set the scene for everyone because I have been having a really really difficult time at my job now since November literally had a whole ass meltdown one of my work besties left like she quit in February and so I was just like oh my god but I literally only had two work friends like legitimately I had two work besties and one of them left then I left and then my other friend is leaving soon so (laughs) it's just funny how things work out but anyways um so I'm gonna set the scene for everyone it was a beautiful Friday morning the sun was shining which was very rare like honestly it does the sun does not shine a lot in Boston like obviously when it's not summer it's like so gray and sad like from October to basically now and like (laughs) now is being generous um because it's still pretty cloudy most days um but anyways the sun was shining it was a beautiful day and it was like a little warm outside like barely it like basically when I say it was a little warm like I say it was like 40 degrees um but (laughs) it just felt so good like I was having such a good morning and I was about to no I just left for work um and there's like a like there the way that I go to work I pass a Starbucks every day and I've literally never got inside but for some reason on that morning I was like oh my gosh like I should just get I should go to Starbucks like I don't even like Starbucks I don't even like you know and but I was just like I should get like a nice like iced tea whatever I didn't do that, but (laughs) the fact that the thought even crossed my mind was just, like, telling you how good of a day I was having just that morning. It was, like, 9 (laughs) a.m., so I don't know why I was, I was just having such a good day. Anyways, I get to work. I put on the radio. Um, I'm just jamming out, having such a good day. No one's at my location as per usual, which is great. So I don't have to deal with anybody. Um, and I'm just having a great day, honestly. Um, and then I get a call. No, no, no. I get a message on Slack. All my Slack homies, y'all know. I get, I get a message on Slack from our operations manager. She's like, hey, um, can I give you a call? And I'm like, fuck. Like, am I about to get fired? (laughs) And the thing is, like, there would have been no reason to fire me. So, like, I don't know, you know, why that thought came in my head. But it's like when your manager is like, can I call you? You're like, oh, my God, am I in trouble? Um, 
but anyways I was like yeah you can call like and she was like okay what number and I was like you can just call my office number like you no need to call my cell (laughs) like what's going on um and so then she gets on the phone and she's like so I have some news for you and I'm like uh okay (laughs) and she's like your location is closing at the end of the month and I was like what (laughs) she was like yeah your location's closing at the end of the month the lease is up so basically my location was like one of the few locations within our company that was a partner location so we basically worked with another business and they like owned the I guess building or that that you know whatever um and we basically they hosted us in the space and we gave them like like we just had a partnership with them whatever so yeah so basically I was just kind of like so blindsided I was like what the actual fuck is going on and I was and she was like so like what do you want to do and I was like uh I'm definitely not gonna be able to figure out on this phone call like what the hell um and she was like oh she was like she's like yeah totally she's like of course not of course not um but I am gonna need to know before the end of the day and I was like what time exactly do you need to know by and she was like I need to know before one I was like since when is one o'clock the end of the day (laughs) oh my god I was like if one o'clock is the end of the work day then I need to be leaving here at one (laughs) o'clock like what the fuck so I was pissed um because I was just like first of all my location this was like March um this is like the middle of March so there were two weeks of March left okay um when when I was told this news and I had to decide within two hours what I was going to do so I was like you know what I'm gonna call you back because Like I said, I'm not going to be able to figure it out on this phone call. I'm going to call you back and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. And she was like, okay. And I hung up the phone, literally immediately started crying, immediately started crying because I would wanted to leave my job anyways. Um, I just like wasn't, I felt like I wasn't being challenged and I felt like I wasn't growing and it just like, it like, honestly, good first job but not the job, like, definitely not where I want to spend the rest of my life, you know, um, (laughs) and so, uh, I, and I knew that, I knew that I was, like, in a rut being in that job, and so I was, and I'd wanted to leave anyway, I literally was just waiting until I got in a new job before I quit, um, so anyways, so I call my mom, and, I'm like, I explain the situation to her and I'm like in tears and I am like, mom, I don't know what to do because she gave me these two options that I don't want to take. But at the same time, like, I don't want to force unemployment on myself. (laughs) And like, my mom's like, well, you could file for unemployment because like, basically, basically the way that they did it like I could say that I had been laid off um because like my physical place of employment was go- not going to exist any longer and like yes they did give me options but like there's no way that I can make those options work so anyways <laughs> it was just like so such a crazy like honestly it's a blur now but it was just such a crazy day because I was having like probably one of the best days I've ever had in Boston and then uh, naturally it just immediately went to shit but um so I was like you know what I don't really need anyone's help figuring out what I'm going to do like I know that I'm quitting it's just a very shitty way for it to happen because I wanted it to happen on my own terms um and not because you know I didn't really have any other option (laughs) but anyways so I like took some time and I like took a deep breath um I think I ate some lunch (laughs) and I called 
my operations manager back and I was like, I'm leaving. I was like, these were my exact words. I said, so I think I'm going to leave. And she was like, what? Why? And I was like, is this really a surprise? Like, you guys did not give me great options to stay. So like, you know, it's just annoying. And like, now that I've left, they've literally created new positions and like for people. And it's just a little sketch because I'm like, I, you guys say that you like loved me and everything, but like you simply could have created a new position for me. Anywho, (laughs) um, So, then there was, like, basically a week and a half left after I found out, um, and my, all of my clients were told and everything like that. There's basically, I had a week and a half to, like, tell my clients, figure out their plans, you know, pack up my whole location and, like, close it down and, like, call movers and blah, 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 whatever. Um, and it was just a lot you know, it was just a lot. And at the end of the day, beyond, like, could not be happier that I left. I'm also working on kind of just like expanding my own brand and potentially starting a business of my own, question mark. Um, so support me on that journey. (laughs) It's, it's a really weird time for me, but I'm like, why not do it? You know, I have the time. So I'm just gonna, you know, see where life takes me but yeah so that's kind of a little life update uh so (laughs) if anyone has questions like legit I'm not gonna get super into detail about all of my like my emotional process and everything but if anyone has questions about you know how I really made the decision like within basically five minutes let's chat and like if you're feeling like your job just isn't serving you at this point in time like let's talk because I kind of went through all of those steps in my brain like since November so that's how I was able to make the decision so quickly because I've been going through this like I've written everything down about how I'd been feeling about my job and it's like there's nothing about the job that was horrible like I wasn't treated horribly I you know but it was just kind of like the culture of my job was just not mm, didn't love it and it just it just wasn't it wasn't helping me grow I honestly felt like I was regressing (laughs) I did learn new skills that will probably help me in the future but like at once I learned them I was just kind of like okay cool so anything else like what else can I do and the answer was nothing so I was like oh my god I'm so bored and anybody that knows me knows that I basically have to be busy 24 7 or else I'm not satisfied (laughs) so this is a good challenge for me right now um so anyways let's just get into a humper dump (laughs) this week's humper dump this whole you know episode is just surrounded about around jobs and careers and whatnot um and like personal growth moving forward all that good stuff so anyways I got a question from a friend who basically asked me since we graduated you know um because you know we graduated in 2020 for all my 2020 graduates um since we graduated getting a job has been super 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 hard so anyone that has literally tried at all to get a job at all super super proud of you because it's been very difficult and it's very hard to hear no so so many times um but anyway so basically I have a friend who has gotten a job offer um in their industry but they're like when I was interviewing I didn't love like I didn't love the job I didn't love the people that I was talking to but like it's a good job pays pretty well like should I take it And my answer is kind of just like, I can't necessarily say hump or dump because I don't fully know the situation. Like, I don't know what your thought process is. And I don't know, like, if you have the ability to not take the job. But what I will say is that um, if you kind of already have this feeling of like, I'm fine with or without the job and like right now maybe there's something else that I could be doing then I would just say dump because if you kind of already have that feeling and you're working 
it like you're gonna be working nine to five or eight to four or whatever like I'll just say personally for me like do I look like a nine to five kind of girl because I am not absolutely not so like and I think that's where a lot of people in our generation are going like I don't think a lot of people in our generation are gonna be like yeah I totally want to work nine to five every day like and whatever this job is nine to five so (laughs) like I just can't live like that um and so if you already know that there are things about the job like obviously not just the working hours (laughs) But, like, you just kind of have, like, a vibe where you're, like, I'm really not sure. Then I would say dump. However, there's also another part that you could be, like, you know what? You could get offered your dream job and it could, you could want to say yes in a heartbeat. And then it could totally turn out to not be at all what you expected. Or you could get offered a job that you're, like, "Uh, I don't, I don't know. And it could be totally better than you expected. So, you kind of just have to go with your own gut on that and that's really hard to do and it's really annoying but I will say personally I don't think that there's anything that we ever go through in life that we don't learn a lesson from and not everything in life is meant for us to take lessons away from it but I think you can always find one if you look for it so that's just kind of how I feel personally and I think regardless of what it is do what's best for you in this moment you know, because what's best for you is not always going to be what's best for somebody else. And what's best for you right now might not be best for you in the future. But you can always say that you did what was best for you at the time. So that's just kind of my own two cents. And yeah, I think you can, I mean, if you haven't been doing anything (laughs) and you're kind of like, I just need a job, then, and like you get this job offer, then like, sure take it why not but if you're like well maybe this is a time where I could you know try something different then like try something different don't be afraid to widen your horizons you know so that's our humper dump of the week I'm really sorry um if this episode is kind of boring but I I feel like I don't talk about like personal growth enough this is just a perfect opportunity for me to do so so For this week's On the DL, I basically just got a question from someone who's nervous about moving to a new city where they don't know anybody and just kind of want to know what I did, how I, how I did it, you know? (laughs) And I will say it was not easy at all. You kind of have to find little moments to, you know, take care of yourself because luckily I had, I started off with two people like two really close people to me that I already knew and that was one my roommate and then one of my best friends who lives literally 15 minutes away from my apartment and without them I I definitely would not have made it at all so it's like yeah I didn't know anybody but I did at least have two people then my roommate had one um friend who was already living in Boston so it's like my circle in in Boston is very small (laughs) it's very small but and and honestly did not make very many friends at all and you guys know me okay um (laughs) but I wasn't really trying to make friends you know I'm I'm just trying to get this degree (laughs) and move on (laughs) but I think just kind of like exploring the city, being okay with being uncomfortable and finding ways to really take care of yourself. For me, a lot of that was just going on walks. And I'm not going to lie, I did not walk everywhere. Like, I did not walk a lot. When I say like going on walks, sometimes that literally means like going to the grocery store. Um, (laughs) But like, I just kind of sometimes needed to get out of my own head and sometimes I just needed to be like okay this is where I am and like this is what it is and I am already so proud of myself because I am living in a city without any of my family and like barely any of my friends but like this is kind of what growing up is and then also realizing that it's totally okay to feel like you have no idea what's going on like we're so young. There's no reason why we have to feel like we have everything put together. And I am, I'm a Virgo. Okay. I need to have everything put together. And I, and I don't like people, everyone says that I seem like I have my shit together at all times. And like, it's true. (laughs) I do seem like that, but on the inside, my head is like going a million miles 
a minute. So I just want everyone to know that I love you and I care about you. And I think that this episode was important for me to make because I feel like a lot of people are going through a lot of people are going through this feeling of maybe not loving where they're at in life right now. And I just want to let you know that it's totally okay to feel that way. And better things are going to come. And if anybody wants to talk to me about that, I will 100% listen to you. I will give you advice if you want it or need it, or I will just sit and be a listening ear. But anyways, I just wanted, I just wanted to put this episode out into the atmosphere and give as many good vibes as I possibly can and kind of share my story right now my little life update and yeah say that it's all gonna get it's all gonna be okay in the end I love you all tell me what you want to hear from me next week and the week after that um I'm just so excited to talk as per usual but anyways I love you all so much I hope that you have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week and I hope that hopefully I've turned your hump day into an amazing dumb day love you so much and I'll talk to you soon bye